Hey everybody, today in this video I'll be doing a review of the Shopkins Shoppy Little Secrets version of Donatina, which comes with her secret locket and the new teeny Shoppy. Here's a look at the front of her box and also the back. I really like the artwork for her for these little secrets. Okay, here is Lil Secrets Donatina up close. You can see she has shimmery gold eye makeup and pink lips with her mouth open and her little tongue is painted and she has pink eyebrows. I really like the shimmery gold eye makeup. Her hair accessory. Uh, unfortunately, mine seems to be a little bit... Uh, painted sloppily. Um, you can see there's some white here, some of the yellow uh, where the white should be, and then some of the brown has rubbed off on the wings, but basically it's like a donut. And then we have um, this little handle part there and some yellow ruffles around the edges, but <clears throat> overall it looks a little bit sloppy. Um, Here's a look at the back, you can see. And her hairstyle is a bit wild with the bangs. I see what they're trying to do, but my bangs don't, on uh, my doll, don't lay right, so they kind of go in her face all the time, which is a bit irritating, but <clears throat> they're supposed to be kind of like going off to the side. Some are a little bit shorter here and then the longer ones are supposed to be on the side of her face there. Um, if you push them to the side, they kind of work. But overall, it kind of looks just a little bit messy to me. <clears throat> the rest of her hair is pulled up into a ponytail. It's very um, <clears throat> soft, but the ends feel dry, just like the very ends seem dried out. It, her hair is super long though. Um, the color is pretty and it looks pretty shiny. Um, just the very tips of her hair um, kind of feel dry and not the greatest. Moving down to her molded top, you can see the same logo from her hairband there, all in yellow. She has um, some pink. <laughs> they almost look like shoulder pads, but they're supposed to be, I guess, her, her sleeves. And then underneath is a white top and it's really hard to see, but there's little sprinkles on them and the, the swirls around the bottom portion of her top. Here's a look at the back. And then we have these shorts. Um, her arms do have the joint at the elbow and her wrist has this little donut on it but her shorts uh, I think her shorts are cute unfortunately mine aren't the greatest um, made in the quality I don't think because um, no matter how I move them around side to side try to pull them up her one leg is seems shorter than the other and then <laughs> It never fits snugly where I feel like it should because it shows it shows um, that red kind of like underneath, which it doesn't, it looks strange. It doesn't look like her belly. It looks like a peg in the middle. Um, see, uh, I don't feel like that should be showing. I feel like it should sit under where her um her top is because it just looks weird and unfinished on the where the belly is so uh, for me I like the fabric of the shorts but mine don't seem to be constructed very well and finally we have her boots which are really tall um they go up to like where the knees would be um and they have the yellow donuts, a little red toe and on the heel. It's just like a, a swirly kind of pattern. Um, 
they have the slit in the back so you can remove them. But that is the Donut Tina for Lil Secrets. Here's a look at the um, little world that Donut Tina comes with. I like the design on this. I do wish they had put maybe a little more paint just like with the sprinkles that they were different colors so they popped out from like the icing on this but let's get it open and check it out here's a look at the background i think that's really cute with the donut tables here's the part that opens up you can see um i think those are supposed to be some donuts looks really cute and then um this part is where you put your teeny shoppy and it moves around and also there's another part where you could put a second one to man this like donut um, stand, donut shop. Uh, the little teeny donutina that you get is here. Here's how she looks. Pretty much the same as her counterpart with the outfit and everything. A little less paint. Uh, still with the the gap in the, I, I'm not a fan of that mechanic with the, the gap in the middle of them. I think that looks weird. And I think they could have constructed these uh, a little better, but overall, um, her painting and everything is cute. I just don't like the hole in the middle of them. Uh, here is a look, you put her in there. And then you, you, she can slide back and forth. You take her out. We'll see if this one works oh, to store her in. Let's try it. Yep, it seems to close with her in it. But these don't latch very tightly so it might open and she might fall out so especially if you're gonna wear it as like a necklace or hang it off something I wouldn't um put, store her in there because I think she would fall out and get lost quite easily the final thing that she comes with is a secret diary um custom to her and it does have it's just uh, it has her picture and her name, but then also has the secret VIP number for the Shopkins World app. So overall, I think this um, Will Secret uh, Shoppy Donatina, um, I think she had some interesting design choices. I think a lot of the things on her seem to be executed a little bit sloppily. Um, like her shorts, her bangs didn't, on my doll at least, didn't turn out. They just look messy and um, messed up, not like how they're supposed to be, I don't think. And then the paint details on her headband are off. As far as her little shoppy and the world, I think those are really cute. Other than the whole with the joint which I don't like on any of them but on the whole I think that the the world and her are cute um the the big doll I think could have been done better so my rating from 1 to 10 10 being the best for the little secrets Donatina I would give her a 7 out of 10 I think there was a lot of room for improvement um, thank you guys for watching this review. Bye.